Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Reno, Nevada in front of Roller Kingdom. Roller Kingdom is an old 70s um, era roller skating rink. Uh, think of a 70s, 80s, 90s uh, type of roller rink that we all grew up going to. My version of this was in my hometown or near my hometown of Flint, Michigan, but it was actually in Grand Lake, Michigan. It was called Roller Haven. Uh, but same type of uh, arena, big skating rink, arcade, uh, lots of cool things to do, snack bar. This is where teenagers and young teens hung out um, after school on Friday nights. Um, but this roller rink has a special feature that mine definitely didn't growing up. And I'm gonna go in and check it out and I hope you guys will join me too. Let's go see it. It's cool. It's got the skates. Got the snack bar. Cookies, cool treats. With a little pig. We got the DJ booth. I like the NSYNC characters up on top. <laughs> That's awesome. We got all the skaters. I like that carpet. Wonka Sweet Land. Let's see if they got the arcade over here. Typical ticket and jackpot games. That's cool. Skate rental, of course. Claw. Air hockey. Pinball, foosball. Walking Dead. Basketball. We got bowling. Extreme. Ooh, now that's a giant claw machine. Look at the size of those boys. Ski ball, ice ball. I don't know if you can see it, but they got a giant skate over in the corner. Just one though. That's cool. But what makes Roller Kingdom unique and cool, and the thing that mine didn't have growing up, would be they have Daniel and the Dixie Diggers right up here on top, featured right on this giant platform. Kid Zone presents Daniel and the Dixie Diggers. Now, they are not working anymore. However, they've got a full backdrop, which is cool. Daniel looks to be in great shape. He got a old scratch mo. He doesn't have his trumpet anymore, but he is standing there. And old Colonel Beauregard, he is uh, no longer playing the banjo. He's got an electric guitar now, so he's upgraded too. <laughs> he looks like he's ready to jam. He's also upgraded the uh, the old Civil War Colonel outfit into a more modern, I guess a uh, 50s doo-wop band outfit. Of course he kept his uh, his Union gray, or his uh, gray Civil War cap. But he's got the electric guitar. And it's just the trio of the guys. 
Yeah, but Daniel looks to be in really good shape. Um, actually, they all do. Yeah, so they, uh, they've they been here stagnant for many years. I'm not exactly sure. I assume at one point they actually did perform here. Um, I am not 100% sure on that, but I assume they did. Uh, there'd be really no other reason to have them here if they didn't. Um, sorry about the music. Hopefully I'll be able to use this. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So these guys have been here for a long time. Uh, not in use, obviously not aired up or singing or performing, but on display. Uh, a lot of people come to see them. They have been a staple here at Roller Kingdom for many moons. And uh, they even have their own sign that's, uh, they're not shy about, about naming the band. So clearly they were in use at one point. So, you know, it's a bummer that they don't perform anymore, but uh, it's still cool that they're around. If you don't already know, uh, Daniel and the Dixie Diggers were created by Sally Corp back in the 90s. Uh, they uh, were put in, I am not sure the exact number of how many places were put in, uh, but they were put in a moderate amount of places. They used to be a five-piece band. They went down to a three-piece, which is the most common version of them. Um, but uh, there is now only one place in the uh, world that you can see them perform, and that is at Hunkaberry Junction in Genesee, Michigan. So um, if you want to see them actually perform, you'll have to go there. But there's still a, a few places you can actually see them on display. Uh, some of the celebration stations down in the uh, southeast uh, part of the country still have them. And of course here in Reno still have these on display. So uh, they are cool to see. I do like their outfits. <laughs> blue light on the backdrop. It's very interactive. So is the green light. Oh, scratch mode. And the Louisiana backdrop. What's up, fellers? So this is a cool roller rink. As you can see, it reminds you of basically every roller rink in the 80s and 90s. This is pretty much if you ever went to these back in the day like I did. I like that they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter what decade you're in, this is still the same. It doesn't matter, it's got the blaring music. It's got laser tag probably off to one side. It's got screaming kids running by. Someone's calling the name for nachos or chili fries. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to- Calling for couple skates, you know, all that stuff. And that's pretty cool. It also doesn't matter what state you're in, anywhere in America, This is a scene you will see on a Friday night, or anywhere, really, on any night. Um, it's pretty cool. So, anyway, I just thought it was cool to stop by and check out the uh, Daniel and the Dixie Diggers. And uh, I dig their roller skate carpet that they have on all the walls here. I think it's pretty neat. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this top of Ruler Kingdom in uh, Reno, Nevada. And, uh, Hope you guys join me on the next one. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey kid, would you like some drugs? The first one is free. Wanna check out my van? I got some candy. Hey kid, wanna join our gang and spray paint under a bridge? No! Bug off, man. I'm going roller skating. I want to be addicted to roller skating, not crap. Because we roller skate today, we will go to college tomorrow. Prison is full of people that have never roller skated. Say no to drugs. I say no to gangs. I say no to unplanned pregnancy. I say no to meth. 
say no to Reaper. I say yes to Rosie. Man, this part of Kingdom is really putting us out of business. You said it, man. This deal sucks. But you know what? Maybe we should give up this life of crime and start roller skating.